All right, so in this equation, we have x times x times x plus x is equal to 30. So my only variable here is x, so we know that we're going to solve for x. So for my solution, what I'm first going to do is start by subtracting 30 on both sides. So if I subtract 30 on both sides, I get x times x times x plus x minus 30 is equal to 0. Now from here, I can rewrite this as x to the power of 3 plus x minus 30 is equal to 0 because x times x times x is the same thing as x to the power of 3. And now, a lot of people would think this is a quadratic equation, but this is a power of 3, not a power of 2, meaning we can't use the quadratic formula to solve this equation, or we can't simply use the normal method of factoring. So to actually solve this, what I'm going to do is rewrite negative 30 as negative 27 minus 3. And the reason I did this is because 27 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. And notice how we have something to the power of 3 plus that same number and another something to the power of 3 minus that same number. So now I'm going to group the two powers of 3s. So I get x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 plus I'm going to group the powers of 1. So plus x minus 3. Now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is equal to x and b is equal to 3. So I get x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 3 squared, which is 9, plus I have my x minus 3 at the end is equal to 0. Now from here, notice how both of these terms have x minus 3 in them. So what I'm going to do is factor out x minus 3. So I get x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 9 plus 1 is equal to 0. And this is equal to x minus 3 times x squared plus 3x plus 10 is equal to 0. And now I have two equations from this. I get x minus 3 is equal to 0 and x squared plus 3x plus 10 is equal to 0. So for x minus 3 equals 0, this is fairly simple. All I have to do is add 3 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 3. So this is one solution of x. Now, for x squared plus 3x plus 10 is equal to 0, this is a quadratic equation, meaning I can use the quadratic formula to solve this. So recall that the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 3, and c is 10. So I get x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 3 squared, which is 9, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 10, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And now this is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 40 over 2, which is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 31 over 2. And negative 31 is the same thing, or sorry, the square root of negative 1, 31, is the same thing as the square root of 31 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to the imaginary number i. So I get negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 31 i over 2. 
in this is actually two solutions x is equal to negative 3 plus the square root of 31 i over 2 and x is equal to negative 3 minus the square root of 31 i over 2. Now from here going back my original equation was x times x times x plus x minus 30 equals 0. Well these two are complex solutions so we can't really check them and they are not actual solutions but what we can check is 3. So if we plug in 3 we get 3 times 3 times 3 plus 3 is equal to 30 which turns into 27 plus 3 is equal to 30 and I get 30 is equal to 30. All right so in this problem I have 500 to the power of 500 divided by 250 to the power of 250. So to solve this what I'm first going to do is rewrite this as 500 to the power of 250 plus 250 over 250 to the power of 250. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 500 to the power of 250 plus 250 is going to equal 500 to the power of 250 times 500 to the power of 250. And I have all of this over 250 to the power of 250. Now this is the same thing as 500 to the power of 250 times 500 to the power of 250 over 250 to the power of 250. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of n. So in this case, I have 500 to the power of 250 over 250 to the power of 250. And I can rewrite that as 500 over 250 to the power of 250. Now, this is equal to 500 to the power of 250 times 2 to the power of 250. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So in this case, a is 500, b is 2, and of course, m is 250. So I get 500 times 2 to the power of 250, which is equal to 1,000 to the power of 250. And this is the same thing as 10 to the power of 750.